I'm Mark Callahan, Mr. Saltwater Tank, and this is Mr. Saltwater Tank TV. Today I'm in Ventura, California to interview Dr. Tim Hovernick of Dr. Tim's Aquatics. Now, Dr. Tim has a PhD in microbiology, and he has some of the biggest and most respected names in public aquariums as clients, from the Georgia Aquarium to the New England Aquarium, even over the Big Pond to the London Aquarium. They all trust Dr. Tim. So today I'm going to talk to Dr. Tim about one of the most controversial topics in the saltwater aquarium world, bacteria and in bottle products. Because there's one thing that Dr. Tim stands for and he makes that very clear. Science-based solutions and bacteria is a great thing. Dr. Tim, we're here in a local fish store. This is one of the places where people usually get started and they, they buy their tank, they buy everything they need, and the next thing they invariably do is come back and buy a fish and start cycling your tank. You're telling me that's not needed. Tell me more about that. But you can cycle with our product called One and Only Live Nitrifying Bacteria, okay. which is concentrated back nitrifying bacteria that get rid of the ammonia and the nitrite that we've isolated from aquariums and that we grow. And it, it instantly starts the cycle, so you don't have to wait for the bacteria to grow on their own, which normally can take 30, 45 days. Right. Yeah, yeah. most people say you got to get it cycling and then you got to wait a month. And to go through the nitrogen cycle. I'm a big proponent of bacteria in a bottle products over putting a fish in the tank, like a damsel fish, and you know, cycling the tank that right. way. And everyone who's against it says, well, it's bacteria in a bottle, it's not gonna provide or survive the, the ship across the country in the, you know, the warm weather, or it's, how would bacteria survive in that bottle? Because bacteria's gotta be in a refrigerator. Why does your stuff make it in a bottle? Why should I believe that it'll work just off the shelf? Right. Well, Typically, people that have been in the hobby a long time will say, oh, no bacteria in a bottle works. And the first reason is, is because until I discovered the, the, tr the true nitrifiers in aquaria, and, and I have a number of patents on those, and they're different bacteria than what you find in wastewater treatment plants, all the mixes out there had nitrifiers that came from wastewater treatment. They didn't have aquarium bacteria. Hmm. They're the wrong ones. and so. People would add the bottle and they'd think, oh, these bacteria are dead. No, they're the wrong bacteria. They are all nitrifiers, but certain nitrifiers live in high ammonia or high nitrite concentrations like a wastewater treatment plant. Sure. We don't have those concentrations. We have very low concentrations. That's a different species of ammonia oxidizer, a different species of nitrite oxidizer, and that was my whole PhD dissertation. Actually, it was a kind of a mistake. I was looking for the original ones because I, like everyone else, believed it's Nitrosomonas europea, it's Nitrobacter winogratzky. But I couldn't find them. And because I was mostly a fish guy and a brand new microbiologist, the professor I was working with said, well, you're not very good at this yet. Keep on looking. Yeah, that's exactly what he said. <laughs> you're a fish guy. And, I'm, and so I kept on looking, but it then through what's called clone libraries and all these molecular methods, we found these new species. And they're very much different. They're, they still nitrify, but they're different species than what's found in a sui shubin plant. So that's one reason bottled bacteria got a bad rep, because they were the wrong ones. Now secondly is the shipping can be a problem. If these bacteria in a bottle freeze, that kills them. Sure. So, so they, they've got to be cared for. Temperature, if the temperatures get over about 110 Fahrenheit, that could be a problem. So I get my tank set up, I put in the bacteria. How long do I have to wait for this cycle to go through using the, the nitrifying bacteria that you have? Well, you, now, once you add the bacteria, you've got to add an ammonia source. You've got to put a fish in the tank, okay. or you've got to put some ammonia in the tank, because the bacteria on their own are going to be there, but they don't have any food. So set the tank up, get it all temperature, get it balanced, make sure you, it's in the right location, the filter's working, right. add the bacteria, and then immediately add a fish or two, three or four fish, it depends on the size of your tank, and feed lightly. You don't need to feed several times a day. Fish will always come up to the surface of the tank, they're, <laughs> like they're hungry, they're not. You can only, you know, you, they get by feeding two or three times a day. Okay. And they're going to start excreting the ammonia. The, the bacteria are in the system already, and you'll see the conversion. And many times, you won't even see the nitrite. The tank will be completely cycled. We've done this with major public aquariums, which are always could be due to construction delays behind the eight ball when trying to open. They've got to open now, 
they need these bacteria because they're putting literally hundreds if not thousands of fish in these big displays. So they don't have the luxury of waiting six weeks, eight weeks to let it go through the cycle. They got to have it right then. Exactly. They always give themselves that, but because of construction delays and because stuff happens, that six or eight weeks becomes six days until opening. They're putting fish in. They need it working okay. now. So once my temperature's set, my salinity set, put in the bacteria, and then I can go put in the fish. A couple, not too much. Like you said, you don't want to overstock from the get-go. Right. If you keep feeding lightly, good husbandry procedures, let the bacteria do its thing, your tank's good to go. Your tank's good to go, yep. And you should always have an ammonia nitrite test kit just to check, and then you can start adding more and more fish. And there's no reason to have an empty tank for four or five weeks. In fact, some people say, well, I set my tank up, and I got the filter running, and I turned everything on, and it's been sitting for a month, I've cycled. Well, no, because the bacteria have to have a food source. And if you don't put anything in there, no fish, no ammonia, you've just delayed the cycle four weeks. You haven't cycled anything. You've just postponed it. So, you know, a lot of people, you hear you know, anecdotal evidence of they'll put in a table shrimp, so something rots and breaks down, or they will dump food in the tank and let it break down. Right. Is that something that you can do with the bacteria product as well to get that ammonia in the tank? You can do that. That's, that's part, it's one way of doing a fishless cycling. So you, fishless cycling means you don't have live fish. So you hang in a shrimp or something that's gonna decay. Okay. And the bacteria are gonna break that down and when they break down that organic matter, they break it down into ammonia. And then that ammonia starts the cycle. It can be pretty ugly and it can stink. And especially uh, with using shrimp, it can turn your water cloudy. And people, will, another common thing is people will say, well, that's the nitrifying bacteria turning the water cloudy. That's not, if that's the heterotrophs, the guys that are breaking down the shrimp and turning the shrimp into ammonia, that's them blooming in the water, turning the water cloudy. Got it. Or you can add ammonium. You can add ammonium chloride, you know, liquid ammonia. But you want to be careful. You don't want to just go get any ammonia at your local, you know, store because a lot of times cleaning ammonia has surfactants or fragrances in it that you don't want to put in your fish tank. Is that ammonia something that you can get from you? They can get ammonia. We supply ammonium chloride in a dropper bottle. Very, it's already measured out. One drop per gallon equals two parts per million ammonia. When you order the bacteria from us, just say you want the ammonium chloride, we give it to you for free. And it just comes with it, ready to go? Ready to go. Whole kit set up, ready to go. Yep. So how many days does it take for yours, with your product, for the cycle to go through? Typically, you're cycled within five or six days, where you're not going to see any ammonia, any nitrite, and you can put fish in the system, sometimes even faster. So this whole month, month and a half, two it, month thing? Totally eliminated. You know, th go. think about it. Who wants to spend all that money and have a beautiful empty fish tank for a month or two? It <laughs> right. makes no sense. Right. It's like getting the, you know, the, the dog kennel, but you can't have a dog, and you stare at the dog kennel for a month. Who wants to do that? At least you don't just clean up the dog poop. Though. Yeah, that's true. But still. But, but with this, no, you can, you, you can safely, it's been done many, many times from small aquariums to big, giant, you know, public aquariums, the London aquariums. The London Aquarium cycled their complete, it's uh, 750,000 liters, so that's almost 200,000 gallons wow. with our product. Sea Life Aquariums down in Legoland and Carlsbad are out in Arizona. Again, their shark and ray system completely cycled within days with our bacteria. And they put, their sharks and rays put a lot of ammonia out. So if these large public aquariums are trusting you, they're spending millions of dollars in infrastructure and fish, Unusual aquarius, it just makes sense. It's proven it's going to take care of your tank like that. Exactly. Yep. And we, even the, you know, to be different and to show people it works, we've published our results. We don't hide behind something it's proprietary, you can't see what it is. Our results, my work is published in peer reviewed scientific journals. We so invite okay. people, you know, to check, check it out, test it, think critically about what we're, what we're saying. You have a low environment. You, you know, we've put it through the scientific review process and developed a product that really, truly has the right bacteria. So the scientific community has stood behind it. You have some big aquariums that are behind it. it. Sounds like the only thing that's left to do is for me to go set up a tank of my own that's sterile, nothing in it, and put it to the test. That's, that's what we ask hobbyists or, or stores like here, the store here. We'll give them a bottle. We ask people, just 
with an open mind, set up an aquarium, and try it and measure it your own. You, there's even people on the, the internet that have done that and they've plotted every day what their ammonia, what their nitrite is. And you'll rise up a little bit and then boom, it's gone, it's gone. within days. And the tank's ready to go uh, in different forums. You can see this. I, I, I want people to do that. Head to head, we will win every time because we have the right bacteria and the right science behind it. Sounds like I need to go home and set up a tank then. I would say. There's a good, any reason to set up another tank, right? Exactly, right? More tanks. <laughs> yeah, I got to. Testing. Science. I might get divorced, but I got another tank. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I learned a lot from talking to Dr. Tim, and now it's time to put what he says to the test. So here's what I've got. I've got a 130-gallon fish tank here that I just set up a week ago, and it's bare-bone sterile. Dead sand, dead rock. It ran for a week being just fresh water, so there's absolutely no nitrifying bacteria in this tank. It's as clean as it gets. There's no fish in here. There's not even lights on this thing. It's so brand new. So I've got a bottle of his one and only live nitrifying bacteria that he's told me to use. And I've got two strong, healthy fish here. I've got a pair of clownfish. I'm gonna do just what he said. I'm not gonna overstock the tank. A pair of clownfish in a 130 gallon tank, not gonna be a problem in terms of overstocking it. And these guys are hardy. They're healthy. There's no signs of Vic on them. They've been living a while so they're strong fish. So I'm gonna put in the whole bottle of bacteria, just like the direction said, that's what it calls for this size tank. Put in my clownfish, and then every day, we're gonna monitor the ammonia, the nitrites, and the nitrates on this tank to see if the Dr. Tim's bacteria does what it's really supposed to do. I expect to see very, very little, if any at all, ammonia or nitrate, because I don't wanna see that because that would be stressing the fish. I don't wanna do that. And I should see this happen very quickly, like you said, within three to five days. So, remember, dead tank, we're not overstocking it, two small clownfish, and a bottle of bacteria. Let's see what we get. All right, guys, hang out for a minute. Have them there. Give the bacteria a good shake. And in goes the whole bottle. Mmm, tasty. Kind of looks like diluted chocolate milk. There's something in there. All right, that's in. Let that get stirred around for a minute. All right, guys, I promise I'm not gonna hurt you. Go enjoy your new home. Be free, fly away. All right, we're off to the races. I have to admit, at this point in the experiment, I was extremely skeptical of what Dr. Tim had to say, because I don't advocate cycling new saltwater tanks by putting a fish in them. If you do it the old-fashioned way of just put in some fish with no bacteria in the tank, then you're gonna subject these fish to very high nitrite and ammonia levels, which can stress out and kill the fish. Not what we're here to do. Well, here's how the data turned out, and Dr. Tim was exactly right. Our ammonia got up to one half of one part per million. That's so very, very, very small of an amount. And we saw no nitrite spike in the tank whatsoever. So I rest assured that these fish were not stressed and our tank was completely cycled within days. After hearing about the public aquariums that trust Dr. Tim and then running my own experiment and seeing the results with my own eyes, add me to your list, Dr. Tim. I'm sold as well. I trust you, and in fact, I recommend that if you're gonna cycle your tank with the bacteria in a bottle products, only use Dr. Tim's one and only nitrifying bacteria. To find out more about it and to pick up your own bottle, go to mrsaltwatertank.com slash Dr. Tim. Now I have to offer this word of caution. In terms of putting a fish in and cycling your tank, I'm only gonna recommend that you do that if you have a larger tank like that 130 gallon we saw. If you have a 75 gallon tank or smaller, I'm gonna recommend that you get the ammonia from Dr. Tim. Remember he said, I'll throw it in for free. Just ask for it in your order and cycle your tank that way. If you have a larger tank, put it in a pair of clownfish or a small goby. Any of the spike that you might see in the ammonia or nitrate, it's gonna be so infinitesimally small, it's not gonna cause stress to that fish. So 75 gallons or smaller, get the ammonia, cycle it that way. A 75 gallon tank or larger, let's say a 90 gallon or larger, Put in a small fish, I'm comfortable using that as long as you use and only use Dr. Tim's nitrifying bacteria. So I'm Mark Callian, Mr. Saltwater Tank. This has been Mr. Saltwater Tank TV. Until next time, have a good one. Enjoy your tanks 
and know your tank personality.